Gemmy Gems! Welcome to your weekly love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I'm doing it from now to October 11th because it's like 26th to the 30th. That seems like a funny little time frame to be doing this for. Keep in mind, time is not linear, so whenever you're guided to watch this is when you're guided to watch it, okay? It's really just for our organizational purposes, all right? So newbies, hello. For those who are new to my channel, I always go to my meditative session first, which is energy that I pick up in and around you. So it's energy you could be experiencing directly or someone in your environment or someone you're energetically attached to. And it is energy, so it can be reversed or vice versa. Okay. And then we'll do the pre-shuffle on screen and then we'll do the tarot reading. Jemmy gems. Hmm. I picked up some kind of not so awesome energy. I'm going to be honest. I'm just being honest with you. I, I saw the two of wands. They showed me the two of wands. And I just felt this major confliction within you. Okay, whether your twins are not in agreement um, or you're just really struggling with a decision, I feel like it's like you try to be rational and then you like you get pulled in by your emotions. And you try to be rational and you get pulled in by your emotions. But gems, they then they showed me the giraffe. Okay, that tells me that you're just too deep in it. All right, whatever this is that you feel conflicted about, whatever it is you feel torn about, whatever it is that you can't come into alignment about or a decision about or an agreement with yourself about, it's really doing a number on you. And I got to be honest, you really got to take a step back. Okay, giraffe energy. It's really, that's exactly what it is. It's taking a step back to really kind of see the entire picture. Because I feel like what's happening is it's almost like you've got sucked into it too much where you're looking at the little pieces, right? Like very Gemini and very Gemini. And you're like, this perspective, that perspective, this perspective, that perspective, that piece, that puzzle piece. And you're trying to make sense of it and what is best for you, what's best for the situation at hand and really how to handle something. But Gemini's, you gotta take yourself out of it. You've fallen in, in too deep. That's essentially what it is. You've fallen in too deep. You gotta sit up. You gotta take a step back. You gotta take a breather. Maybe just leave it alone for a little while. Maybe like walk away from it for a couple days if you can. Cause Gemini is you're too deep in it to see the full picture at hand. But it also showed me a centipede, which I thought was interesting. Centipedes are about image, actually, which is kind of cool. They're about image. So Gemini is maybe whatever it is you're sucked into. Maybe you're worried on how people will perceive you. Maybe you're worried on how you're going to look. Or like maybe it actually affects your, your body image, right? Like maybe whatever it is, it's like, oh, I'm not good enough. Or I don't look this way. I don't look that way. If you're thinking about a relationship or, you know, something that you have to do involving other people or where you might feel a little exposed, okay? I do feel a sense of vulnerability with that, actually. Whatever the situation is that you feel conflicted about, it's making you feel a little vulnerable and you don't really like that, which I think is why you're focusing so hard on it to not be conflicted on it anymore, to come to a consensus. But gems, you're too deep. You're in too deep. <laughs> you're in too deep. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> you're in too deep. Just take a step back, take a breather, and things will fall into place. I also feel like your intuition is the key here. Yeah, don't get caught up on the details or what you think you're seeing or what you think you know. Ooh, gems, gems. I feel assumptions coming on. I feel assumptions coming on. Don't get caught up in what you think you know or what you actually know. Go into your intuition on this, okay? Because even facts, even like what people say to us can be perceived wrong uh, or even what people do can also be a little misperceived because you don't really know the full context behind how someone's acting because you're not in their head, right? Uh, whatever the situation is, whether it's work, family, love, friends, whatever, what have you, or something you're just working on in your own self-growth, whatever it is, Gemini, take a breather, take a step back, and let your intuition kind of run the show here, okay? And when it comes to your intuition, we might pull out the Soul's Journey cards um, for this reading. Oh, hi, mister. What? He's been talking to me all morning. Uh, whatever it is, Gemini, take a step back, let your intuition take over. And you'll feel it, okay? It's so like when I talk about intuition, we all have innate intuition. Some of us just work a little bit more to nurture it, right? Than others, <clears throat> excuse me. Geminis, I also feel a little throat chakra energy. I usually feel that with you. You are Gemini, you are mercurial. But some of you guys might have to speak up about something or oh, or be honest with yourself, Gemini. Okay, that's for some of you, not for all of you. Don't get offended, I'm just the messenger. So when it comes to using your intuition for something, You've got a lot of things you're looking at. You've got a lot of things you're thinking about. You're very, very conflicted within yourself, right? Take one thing after you've taken a break, because you got to take a break. I can feel it. Take a break from this. And then when you come back to it, just look at one aspect and think about how you feel. Like, just does it feel good? Does it feel, huh, apprehensive? Does it feel heavy? Does it feel light? Does it feel freeing? It's like, go with how it actually innately feels to you on a physical level that is using your intuition okay all right so gemini's that's the energy i was picking up for you in your meditative session 
Let's go ahead and do the pre-shuffle, okay? And get the cards calibrated to your energy. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from now to October 11th. I've been saying this in every video, and I'm going to talk about it tonight live on the New Moon Libra video at 7 p.m. Pacific. So go ahead and catch me there. <laughs> um, I'm back. Oh. Sorry, gems. Might have a tower coming. Sorry. It never used to do this before. So the fact that it keeps doing it now is making me insane. But I know we're in a time of change, right? So I think that's just part of it as well. A lot of energy we're working with. Um, and I'm bad at winking is what I was going to say. <laughs> I don't know how to wink. Um, but anyway, gems. So just, just take a breather. Okay, take a breather. The first half of October is going to be nice and harmonious. It's going to be nice and smooth. We have Mars and Venus from the 4th to the 8th, both in Libra, um, bringing forth a lot of harmonious communication, action, and intentions will be lining up with how people are acting for a change, which will be nice. That'll be very nice. And then we go into Scorpionic energy and Scorpio season, and then we have the full moon in Aries on the 13th, adding just more Mars and fire to the mix. It's going to be a little bumpy. Uh, Mercury retrograde in Scorpio on the 31st. Pre-shadow starts on the 11th of October. Post-shadow doesn't end until December. So keep that in mind, okay? Hmm, gems. Oh, they just showed me an apple tree. What's that about? You could just like apples. Apples come in a lot of different flavors when it comes to messages or spirituality. I feel like it's actually wisdom here, Gemini. Uh, practice some wisdom here. Step lightly. Take your time. Gemini's don't feel rushed to make a decision some of you I think are feeling rushed to make a choice or feeling rushed to come to a consensus about something take your time take your time it's going to come to you when it comes to you it's going to come to you in the time it needs to come to you okay take your time with it take your time with it and make a really wise decision here Gemini's you usually do but I can feel because you're so conflicted with yourself you're leaning on to making a reckless decision okay so just be mindful of that but for some of you not all of you Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For my Geminis, the moon rising Venus and Jupiter from now to October 11th. God, they're showing me all kinds of shit now. All kinds of animals, Gemini. Are you at a zoo? What's going on? They're showing me a snake. They're showing me a snake. Why are they showing me a snake? Mmm. Yeah, it's about that treading lightly. It's about that treading lightly. Or you could be dealing with someone who has like a snake totem or snake energy. Snake is not inherently bad. Oh, oh, okay. Thank you. Um, there's, yeah, that's why you need to tread lightly with this Gemini and take yourself out of it because you're so deep into it. You're not really aware of other shit going on around you. Okay. And when we're not aware, people get away with shit. I'm not saying you have snakes around you. I'm just saying that you need to raise your awareness a little bit more because you're too deep into whatever this confliction is that you're experiencing. Can you please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from now to October 11th. Okay. Oop. Let's see what we got here. Oh my, oh my. Nine of Wands in reverse, Sagittarian energy, and the Four of Wands in reverse, Aries energy. A lot of fire at your Gemini's. A lot of fire. I feel a breaking apart of a foundation. Wow, accepting it, accepting it. Something's coming apart in your life, Gemini, or you feel like something's coming apart, or that you ha oh you have to pull it apart. E. Okay. Um, whatever this foundation is that you've built, Gemini, it could be a relationship or it could be relating to work um, or something you just built for yourself or something you've actually built structurally. Um, Four of Wands is about structure, right? Um, but Nine of Wands in reverse, this is a surrender. This is no longer fighting, no longer resisting. Surrendering to something that has, oh, that has to come down. Surrendering to something that has to come down. Oh, Jesus. Knight of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy could also be fire or air with the Ten of Wands in reverse. More Sag energy. A lot of fire, guys. A lot of fire here. This is about action. This is about action. This is about making moves and understanding that something is coming down, Gemini. Something's coming down and it seems like it's coming down with a bang. Okay, and I think that's why you feel so conflicted about it. Some of you feel like you have to pull this down yourself. Some of you can feel it happening and you're kind of like, I don't know how to feel about it. Almost like you're trying to think of a plan B, plan C, plan D but you don't know how to feel about it because there's a lot of burden and stress with this. 
And there's a lot of drama as well. I do feel for some of you there's arguments involved in this. Erratic thinking. Calm your mind, Gemini. Calm your mind. I know it's hard for you. It's Gemini. You're Gemini. I know. I know. I get it. Calm your mind about this. That's going to be the key. Staying calm and staying tapped into your intuition and staying grounded. You're, that's how you're going to handle this. I'm not trying to make you nervous. All of a sudden, I felt your anxiety go up. I'm not trying to make you nervous, Gemini. I'm not trying to make you nervous. I'm just, I, I can feel the heaviness that you're carrying with this. I can feel the heaviness you're carrying, and, and there's a way to handle this in a calm way, okay? You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Use your intuition here, okay? Take yourself out of it. Use your intuition. Keep in mind, guys, this is just the pre-shuffle. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Gemini. Uh -oh. mm. Lord. Four of Cups. Cancerian energy. Hierophant in reverse. Taurian energy. And we got the Queen of Cups in reverse. More Cancerian energy. Could also be Pisces or Scorpio. There's some hurt here. There's some hurt here. Geminis, whether you're tearing this down or someone else's, someone is realizing that there's a, an agreement or some kind of contract that has to come to an end. Yeah, some kind of foundation, relationship, business, or otherwise, some agreement, some contract has to come to an end, and there's 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 some hard feelings here. There's some hard feelings about it. It's burdensome. It's coming with drama. It's coming with fighting for some of you. And others, this is like, it's just surrendering to it. Just surrendering to it and accepting it. Some of you are actively tearing this down, though. Some of you are actively tearing this down because you just know it's time. You can feel it crumbling already, and it's kind of like, I can take this down now. Oh, that's where some of your conflictions are. Because you can see it happening for some of you. And you're just like, I can take this down now. So it's in my control. Or I can just let shit happen. I think a lot of you are leaning towards taking it down. But then when you think about that, it gives you, it makes you stress out. And you're like, well, shit, is that really the best thing? How am I going to look if I take this down? How am I, oh, whist, I just heard whistle blow. How am I going to look if I actually whistle blow on this shit? It's like, so yeah, okay. I can feel some really hard choices with you, Gemini. Uh, ooh, Ten of Pentacles at the bottom. I like that. Virgo energy. This is about your stability at the end of the day. And whatever this thing is that you can feel kind of shaky, kind of not stable, not really serving you. You know you're good. Yeah, Geminis, you already know. You already know, Gems. You already know that you're going to be more stable if you just if you just take this shit down. If you just take it down or jump shit before it gets taken down for you. Wow, Geminis. Okay, I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. Let's go ahead and get into the, uh, this reading. 12 minutes in, you guys make me talk so much. <laughs> you guys always make me talk so much, Geminis. You and, you and Virgo. You mercurial energy signs. Anyway, okay. So let's get into this. For those who are new to my channel and new to tarot readings, please know these are very general readings. Not all these messages will resonate for everybody. As you heard me set the intention, messages come through for those who need to hear them, okay? So if it's not your week, it's not your week, and there's nothing wrong with that. Also, guys, we are working with energy, so energy can be reversed or vice versa. If it's resonating, switch the roles if you have to. Also, don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. If you have any other questions or you're wondering about anything else regarding me or my channel, Go ahead and check out the link below and all the other inf other information below. All right, gems, let's get started. Any messages for Gemini's? Hi. Any messages for Gemini's? What is with these animals? Now they're showing me a horse. Any? <laughs> I swear, some of you guys are at a zoo or something. Although I know they don't keep horses at zoos. Um, horses are about freedom. They're also about power. They're about power. Power freedom and success gemini's you're wanting to break free i can feel it you feel held back from whatever this little foundation is that's kind of shaky already you feel like it's holding you back you can almost see your freedom ahead it's like you can see what is in store for you you know libra had something very similar you might want to check out the libra reading if you have any libra placements or you're dealing with a libra in a romantic situation or a work situation anyway or family i just heard family or family gemini you can see freedom you can see the potential. Like You already know you have potential for great power. You can see it. You can feel it. You know exactly what would be in your best interest. And you're like, what do I do with this fucking foundation? Like, what do I do with this? What do I do with this? How's the best way to handle this? Sorry, I'm feeling your frustration here now. I'm feeling your frustration with this. Just stay grounded, Gemini. Just stay grounded. Any messages for Gemini regarding love from now to October 11th? For some of you, thank you. God, another animal? Jesus. 
<laughs> Geminis, I love you, but this is a hell of a lot of animals for you guys. I guess a lot of Geminis are watching me and a lot of cross watchers. Uh, Geminis, for some of you, you've had something promising come your way, which is making you really question this foundation or really see the, the shakiness of it. Yeah, yeah. A lot of you have had something promising come your way and it's like, oh, oh, this shit's actually not that stable. <laughs> I could actually have a hell of a lot more stability with this new promising situation or opportunity, work or otherwise. Uh, for some of you, it is work because I'm seeing Ace of Pentacles. For some of you, it is work, okay? Um, some of you could be a romantic interest. Some of you could just be a friend or just a new opportunity in life, right? Um, but yeah, for some of you, that's what's making you realize it, feeling really conflicted about it. Any messages for Gemini? Oh, they showed me a turtle. Sorry, that was the animal they showed me. They showed me a turtle. So again, practicing that wisdom and also being kind of slow about this. Take your time. Really take your time, Gemini. Really take your time. Any messages for Gemini? I just, I love you, Gemini. You're like, but what if I lose that opportunity? If it's meant for you, it's meant for you. End of the day. If it's meant for you, it's meant for you. Any messages for Gemini? Regarding love from now to October 11th. All right, that feels good. Ooh, very quick. Oh, oh, gems. Oh, my. It's attractive. Knight of Wands, Sagittarian energy could also be Aries or Leo, also air energy with the devil. Wait, oh, why did I say air? That's interesting. Well, you are air, so maybe that's why I said it, because I do feel like this is you running towards something with the devil, Capricorn energy. You could just be running towards a Capricorn, but Gemini, whatever it is, it's hella attractive. Even if it's just freedom, even if it's just pure freedom away from this faulty foundation, like if you don't really have something promising coming your way, the idea of being free is very attractive and seductive to you. Some of you are being seduced, I'm not gonna lie. Some of you are definitely like, oh, I like that. <laughs> I like what I'm seeing. That's funny. Oh man, that's a, I'm getting a lot of sexual energy, Gemini. I'm just being honest with you. I'm getting a lot of sexual energy with this. For some, Capricorn energy, it could indicate work as well. It could be a very attractive work environment. Just be careful. It is devil energy, okay? It is something that is attractive, and it's attractive for a reason, right? Good or bad. Devil energy is not inherently bad. It's just about how it's being harnessed. But this feels like a big pull-in. You can't take your eyes off of it. For those where it's a new opportunity, you can't take your eyes off of it, but it's like, oh, fuck, I got to deal with this shit over here. It's like, it's that kind of energy. Mm. Any other messages for Gemini? Oh, you Jemmy Gems. And some, this could be someone coming to you because keep in mind, Sagittarian energy is the Nine of Wands and Sag is your seventh house, your house of relationships, your natural partner, your natural counterpart. So it could also indicate that, but just, you know, take it as it resonates for, for now. To not confuse you guys, I feel like you're going into something or being drawn into something, being drawn away from something because you know it's stable, it's very attractive, it's very seductive. For a lot of you, this is in different aspects of your life, okay? Ooh, King of Swords in reverse. Yeah, Aquarian energy can also be Gemini or Libra. This is why you're conflicted. You're not thinking straight, Gemini. Almost said Libra. You're not thinking straight, Gemini. You're not thinking straight. <laughs> you're not thinking straight because you feel so conflicted. And Gemini's, when you're conflicted or you're out of balance, you do have a hard time making decisions because you kind of get stuck in analysis paralysis sometimes. Get grounded, get tapped your intuition, into your intuition, and you will figure out exactly what it is that's best for you, okay? I mean, you kind of already know. You do kind of already know. You're so drawn into it. You kind of already know. There's also an energy of, of trust. I think I'm picking up on a different group of Geminis. Ooh. Five of Wands in reverse. Leo energy and justice, Libra energy. So it's funny I was saying Libra because now I got that Libra major arcana card. Bringing justice to the situation, getting rid of this conflict. What did I say? You're so conflicted within yourself, Gemini. You got to get rid of that shit. You got to find what? Your balance. Libra energy, you got to find your balance here, Gemini, to make a clear-headed decision because you're not clear-headed right now because whatever it is you want to go towards, it's very attractive. Very attractive, very seductive. I don't feel like it's bad, though. i got to be honest. I don't feel like it's bad, but I'm picking up on a group of Geminis that aren't really trusting it either, which is also why you're conflicted. You're kind of like, it's too good. Yeah. It's too good. It's too attractive. It's too seductive. Why is it so good? Why is it, the see, analysis paralysis. Why is it so good? Why do I want that so much? Is it really promising? What's the devil in the details? What's really going on behind the curtain? Yeah, some of you are not trusting this opportunity, but that's because you're not grounded and you're not balanced in your energy and you're conflicted within yourself. You gotta get out of that to get balanced and to really bring um, harmony to the situation in your mind, your mind first and foremost. I know, I'm talking a lot. I'm getting a lot of downloads. Any messages for Gemini? See what other cards we'll get out here. 
Actually, I need a little water first. Hold on, guys. Where'd my water go? Mm. Mm. Okay. Let's keep it going, gems. Any other messages for Gemini? The king of pentacles could be a gem touring cusper not necessarily taurian energy could also be earth or air this is this is this is what you want to be gemini i can feel it you want to go from this to this stability Secu oh i'm getting security with this too interesting yeah for a lot of you this could be just a business move but i'm just god i'm feeling very prosperous and abundant energy it feels really good it almost getting it's almost like sun energy it's like just being really happy, being really happy, really stable, really abundant, really prosperous and coming out of a place of feeling very confused. Yeah, whatever this up. Oh, we're going to dig into this, Gemini. Oh, my God, we're at 20 minutes. Gemini is going to be a long video. Sorry. Um, yeah, whatever it is you're attracted to, you feel like it can make you a king of pentacles. It makes you feel grand thank you that's the word grand it's making you feel grand whatever this opportunity is for those who have an opportunity most of you is just having freedom any messages for gemini oh shit you guys got a lot of cards gem any other messages for gemini Ooh, one of my favorite cards just came out oh what did i say some of you are like i gotta pull down this foundation the tower in reverse Scorpio energy could also be Aries because it's Mars with the Ten of Swords, Gemini energy. This is an ending of sorts. This is you ending faulty foundations. Yeah, whatever it is that you are realizing you're in that you don't want to be in, you're ready to tear this shit down because you know, you know that it's going to lead to more security, more abundance for you because a lot of you do have an opportunity that's very attractive, very seductive. Some of you are not trusting it. There's some of you that aren't trusting it a little bit, which is why you're also trying to gain clarity on the situation because you're just like, it's just too damn good. It's just too damn good. But then what do we have? Oh yeah, the world. Fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, which does rule Capricorn. This is a whole new cycle that can start for you. A very abundant one at that. As a king of pentacles, very, very abundant one at that, Gemini. I mean, this is an awesome energy to come into and to end on. This is like a whole new book. Like forget a whole new chapter. This is like a whole new book. Some of you could also be traveling, international travel specifically, but not necessarily. Yeah, you're gonna tear down something faulty because you, you, you want your stability and you're going to jump ship before you get taken down with the ship. Overall energy, we have two of swords in reverse, moon and Libra energy, making a very clear-headed decision at the end of the day. That's what your goal is. That's what you want to do. But you got to get that clarity first. You got to get grounded first and get tapped into, into your intuition first. Okay? All right. I know. I'm talking fast. You can go back if you need to. <laughs> um, now, let's look at this devil because it's very attractive, Gemini. A lot of sacral energy. Mm. sorry <laughs> it's very sexy energy okay let's use the rider weight on this one tell me about the devil you feel okay for some of you this is a person others like i said it's a work opportunity um or just somewhere you want to be you know just that lust for life gemini's you do have that um but some of you, this is a person and it's just like you feel the pull and that kind of scare it's scaring you it's scaring some of you that's interesting tell me about the devil tell me about the devil tell me about the devil for gemini tell me about the devil for gemini regarding love from now to october 11th tell me about the devil Tell me about the devil for Gemini regarding love from now to October 11. Tell me what this devil is here for. Tell me about this devil. Tell me about this devil. What is so attractive to Gemini here? Why is this devil so attractive to Gemini? <laughs> yeah, some of you, it's just a very lusty energy. Uh, tell me about the devil. Ooh, interesting. We have the hanged man, Piscean energy. Yeah, Gemini's, whatever this is, whoever this is, you're you're really, again, you're trying to gain the clarity that you need. 
you're trying to come to that consensus. That's you trying to come to the consensus. I do feel like you're putting a pause on it though, which is interesting. Like putting a pause on it until you can figure out how you feel about it truly and what's best for you coming to that consensus, right? Some of you are definitely putting a pause on it. Almost like, let me freeze this opportunity. <laughs> let me freeze this opportunity till I can get shit right. Tell me about the devil. Ooh, seven of wands, Leo energy. Interesting. Yeah, again, like I said, some of you aren't trusting it. Some of you are a little defensive by it because it's like, it's too good. It's just too damn good. Ace of Pentacles on the bottom, by the way. Major opportunity and stability and abundance. Um, yeah, some of you are just like, I really need to put a pause on this. I really need to balance myself. I really need to come into some kind of clarity on what this is and if it's really for me, how I feel about it, what to do in the situation. Do I tear down this faulty situation I'm in? Do I just go? Do I just go for it? What do I do? Yeah, yeah. see, like analysis paralysis. Well, some of you are definitely a little defensive here. I also feel some of you are protecting your energy. Ooh, yeah, Geminis. Some of you are protecting your energy from this person. Yeah. For those dealing with a person some of you are protecting your energy it's almost like you can feel their energy quite a bit i think that's because there's sexual attraction there and you don't like that that's interesting you don't like that it makes you feel a little too vulnerable so some of you are protecting your energy too tell me about the devil tell me about the devil for gemini Talking about the devil. Oh, yeah. See, four swords in reverse, Libra energy. You're trying to gain that clarity. This is all about you gaining clarity, balance within yourself and coming to your own consensus about this. Tell me about the devil. Major theme of the reading here. Tell me about the devil. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus. <laughs> Gemini. <laughs> you might tear this tower down with a big bang, okay? I can't believe that fell again. Eight of Cups, Piscean Energy. You want to head towards your Ten of Cups. The eight always leads to the Ten. Always. You want to head to, to, to you want to head towards your Eight of Cups. A lot of you want to leave that faulty foundation. You're just trying to gain the clarity on how to do it and if you really should do it. But deep down, Gemini's, you know you should. You know you should. Tell me about the devil. Tell me about the devil for Gemini. gems who's this attractive devilish energy the empress libra energy could also be taurian energy divine feminine energy oh my <laughs> oh my don't get caught up on the gender guys it's just really intense energy i mean this is like this is someone who's very high vibrational okay someone who's very high vibrational keep around their own business emperors empresses usually do um somebody who's also a very great manifester i'm also getting a lot of like mother earth energy especially with all those trees in the background very mother earth energy yeah whatever this is whoever this is gemini it's just incredibly attractive they're pulling you in you feel it you some of you are a little hesitant because you're getting pulled in and you're not trusting that so you're being a little defensive while also protecting your energy you're trying to get clar clarity on the situation to decide where to go to next because you want your ten of cups because you want your ten of cups, okay? I'm getting a lot of maternal energy too. What's this maternal energy that I'm getting? Regardless of gender, there's something about nurturing with this. And Empress is usually a very like maternal motherly energy. I'm getting a lot of like nurturing energy with this. You like that. You do like that. You like that. But you're still like, I don't, I don't, I don't trust you. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. <laughs> it's kind of funny, Gemini. So like I said, oh, that's funny. I tried to pick this up and then it went upright. So yeah, it, some of you are actually like really marinating on this as you're watching the reading and actually getting more um, tapped in your intuition. So I'm going to leave that upright. But Getting out of that confliction with yourself will bring harmony to the situation, bring balance to the situation, and get you thinking right to know what exactly what's just for you. So let's look at justice. Let's look at justice. Um, do gilded. If I could pick it up. Okay. Tell me about justice. Tell me about justice for Gemini. Tell me about justice for Gemini. about justice for Gemini. Geminis, I'm picking up on another group of you all of a sudden. I'm picking up on another group of you where 
Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Geminis, this is a completely different group I'm picking up on, where whatever it is that you have been attracted to, I feel like this is someone you've already interacted with, okay? For the group that I'm tapped into. So the group I was already talking about, I don't think you've had a lot of interaction with this attractive opportunity or person. This group I'm about to talk about, you have interacted with this energy, okay? And you've realized that there's something about it that is very, like, toxic. Very toxic or just maybe not totally honest. Not totally honest and you don't like that. You don't like that and that's why you are being very defensive or even closing off your energy. You could even be acting kind of cold towards this person and getting the hell out of dodge and away from them because you know what your, your standards, you know what's best for you, and that's not that energy, okay? All right, now let's look at justice. Tell me about justice. Yeah, for those where you've interacted with this energy, I do feel like it was a lot of interaction. I do feel like it was a lot and it was very sexual, very like very sexually charged and probably like very, very fast movement. Okay. Um, and then you realized, oh no, 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 no. I deserve better. Tell me about justice. Tell me about justice for Gemini regarding love from now to October 11th. Tell me about justice for Gemini. Tell me about justice for Gemini regarding love from now to October 11th. Tell me why justice is here. Tell me more about justice. Five of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy. So yeah, like <laughs> coming out of trying to stay away. <laughs> coming out of trying to stay away from this situation. I'm also getting something about scarcity mindset. What is this about? Mm. Geminis, there's this energy of like one of your concerns, I think, would it be enough? Or, oh, would I be enough? Oh, gems, would I be enough? Oh, gemmy gems. Yes. <laughs> yes, and that's also why Justice is here because even Justice is like, yes, of course, don't be silly. Don't be silly. That's kind of cute. That's kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, it's like basically Justice is going into this opportunity going into this situation here okay and getting out of that conflicting energy within yourself and getting clear-headed on how great of an opportunity this is or what moves you want to make that's best for you hey you're the masters of your own life you know your life better than i do um but that's what that energy is getting out of scarcity mindset getting out of feeling alone oh yeah gemini's you don't have to be alone that's good that's oh that's gonna hit some of you that's you know who you are if you need to hear that um but yeah, I keep getting this energy of like not feeling enough, not feeling enough. Tell me about justice. Three of, oh, if I can pick it up. Three of wands, Aries energy here. Yeah, this is about knowing what you deserve, Gemini. This is about knowing what you deserve by getting grounded and tapping your intuition, getting rid of that conflicting energy within yourself because you know what you deserve. You know what you deserve. Um, for that second group of Geminis I was picking up on where you're blocking yourself away from a devilish energy or devilish person because it wasn't good for you because you're the empress and you know who you are. You know who you are in this situation. Um, I'm picking up that this energy is the other person. Kind of like, where did Gemini go? Where did Gemini go? They better be getting their ass back here. For those of you who've already um, dealt with a devil energy, okay? And I'm not saying this person's bad. I'm just saying that there was something toxic about this, th that. <laughs> there was something toxic about that, okay? For those who really interacted a lot with that energy. Tell me about justice. And then we'll look at the world and we'll get some advice. Tell me about justice. Six of Pentacles, Taurian energy. Like I said, this is about what you deserve, Gemini. This is about what you deserve. This is about what's balanced for you. And again, gaining that balance within yourself here because you deserve it. You deserve a good opportunity like this. You deserve abundance. You deserve something very yummy and attractive. <laughs> you deserve that. You deserve to feel secure. You deserve to feel secure, okay? And some of you, I think, have been battling loneliness here. You don't have to be, you don't have to sit in that. You don't have to sit in that. Ooh, Knight of Wands in reverse. Sag energy could also be Aries or Leo. Yeah, for the... I'm getting that devil energy again for those in group b where this is an energy you've 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 interacted with it it was fun 
then you realized it was toxic and you're like, yep, nope, I know my worth and I know I deserve better than that. Yeah, they, they, they're very unpredictable, very unpredictable, very in and out, very, very in and out, but they feel like they deserve you. <laughs> Decide how you feel about that, Geminis. I know how you feel about that. Tell me about justice. Queen of Cups, because you're just too delicious. <laughs> Queen of Cups. Cancerian energy could also be Pisces or Scorpio. This is very nurturing energy. Yeah, this is definitely that Empress energy here. So Gemini, some of you are being drawn to this opportunity. Group A, talking to Group A. You're being drawn to this opportunity because it is very attractive. It is very yummy. It is very nourishing. It is very just comforting as well. Um, you're not trusting it though. Some of you are not trusting it. So that's why you're getting clear-headed to make your decision. Like, what do I really deserve? What do I really deserve? Okay. Others of you, you've pulled away from a devil energy because you know your worth, you know what you're capable of giving to a situation, and you're not going to give to, you know, a toxic, over-sexualized situation here, okay? Because why? Because you know your worth and you know you don't deserve that. Okay. Tell me about justice. Tell me about justice for Gemini. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me about justice for Gemini. Look at that. Justice in reverse came out. Libra energy with Knight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, for those, again, group B, where you've dealt with this kind of energy, you're not dealing with this shit anymore because you don't deserve that. You know your worth and you know that you deserve better than that. And you deserve to be stable, prosperous, and secure as well. Um, you know your worth. You just know your freaking worth, man. Uh, for those where you are seeing this opportunity and you're not trusting it, I think you've recently dealt with an energy like this, okay? Which is why you're not really trusting it. You're like, yeah, I don't need more of the same. I don't need more of the same. Yeah, I thought that situation was good too. I thought that situation was attractive too. But Gemini's, what you're not realizing it is very different. Look at how different this energy is. Very, very different, right? So just keep that in mind, group A. It's sexy, it's attractive, it's, pro it's promising. You want to go for it. You're not trusting it because a lot of you have recently dealt with this kind of unpredictable, toxic kind of energy before. That was not what you deserved. So you're questioning it. You'll get clear-headed. You'll get clear-headed and know what's best for you. For group B, you're pulling away from someone because they're like this, because they're like this energy. Again, very unpredictable, a little self-serving, very imbalanced, very toxic, very over-sexualized, but you deserve better than that because you give a hell of a lot more than that. And you know your worth and that's bringing justice to the situation. Overall energy, we do have six of wands, not six of wands, six of swords. Aquarian energy, this is having peace in the situation and having understanding and clarity of the situation and being at peace with whatever decision you come to, no matter what situation you're finding yourself in, okay? I know I'm hearing you guys. I know I'm talking really fast. I just get a lot of messages, okay? Okay. So you're going to tear down this faulty foundation. You're going to bring down the tower to do what's best for you. And I feel like for some of you, that tower for group B is giving this person the boot giving this pers person the door, okay? Um, and like I said, for a lot of you, you're already kind of in a weird, faulty foundation as it is. So for those where you're seeing something promising, you're bringing down the tower so you can go after this promising opportunity, okay? Either way, Geminis, this is all about you gaining clarity in your situation and making the best decision for you and your stability, okay? And we end with the world. So let's take a look at this one. Hmm... Yeah, let's use this deck, this deck. I like this deck. Actually, let me get water first. I'm talking a lot with you guys. Mm. Okay. Tell me about the world. Tell me about the world. Tell me about the world for Gemini. Regarding love from now till October 11th. Tell me about the world for Gemini regarding love from now to October 11th. Tell me about the world for Gemini regarding love from now to October 11th. Tell me about the world for Gemini regarding love from now to October 11th. Okay. Tell me about the world. For Gemini regarding love from now to October 11th. Ooh, strength. I like that. This is having confidence in yourself, Gemini. I really like that energy. This is Leo energy. I'm getting Moon and Libra. I don't know. What the, I mean, Moon and Libra. That's weird. 
Leo, Leo, Leo. Maybe you know someone's got a moon in Libra. I was about to say moon in Leo. Moon and Libra came out. That was crazy. Anyway, so strength energy, confidence here, having confidence in making the right decision for you, having confidence in what is ahead for you and your own stability. You know your worth, Gemini. You know your worth. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Nine of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy, Chariot in reverse, Cancerian energy here. Stop doubting yourself, Gemini. This is you kind of facing this energy. This is the energy of a little bit of doubt, a little bit of loneliness, a little bit of instability, a little bit of that confusion and not really being grounded, not really being in tune with yourself. A lot of that wishy-washy energy. That's what this is. That's what this is. And you're having the strength to know better for yourself. Okay, having the strength to know, wait a minute. I know my values. I know my standards. I know what good, good quality person I am. And I know what it is when I know what I deserve. I don't deserve this shit for those in group B, kicking the door on somebody. For those in group A, I do deserve this. I do deserve this nurturing. I do deserve this amazing little energy to come into my life. I deserve that. Okay? Let's see what else we got out here. Tell me more about the world for Gemini. Tell me more about the world for Gemini regarding love from now to October 11th. Tell me the world for Gemini regarding love from now to October 11th. Oh, that's it. Overall, whoo, what did I say? The Hierophant, Taurian energy, being tapped into your intuition. The Hierophant is also the high priest. It's, ha it's listening to your guides, listening to your higher self, listening to your intuition on what is best for you and where to go next, who to go towards, who to kick to the curb. <laughs> you already know, Gemini. Get grounded, stay calm, and tap into, your, tap into your intuition here. And also move slowly through this as well. Take baby steps while you're getting yourself kind of recalibrated, okay? I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. All right, now let's get some advice. I do want to pull out the Soul's Journey deck. It's a new deck that I have. I freaking love it. I really, really love this deck. Um, I want to look at the energy that Spirit recommends you harness or what to pay attention to. Actually... Spirit, any cards that you want to come out from this deck that you think will benefit Gemini? Messages or advice or energy to harness? Anything Gemini needs to be aware of? Anything you want Gemini to kind of be aware of or in tune with? Regarding this spread, please. Oh, I heard have faith, Gemini. Interesting. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in yourself. Might get squirrel spirit. I'm still going to do the spirit animal deck. I'm probably going to have to stitch this video too, just FYI. I don't know why my phone does this, but about like 44 or 46 minutes in, it like, it just creates a new video and it misses like a second. I don't know why it does that. Spirit, anything else that you want Gemini to be aware of or anything you want Gemini to know or anything that you think will help Gemini? Anything Gemini should be harnessing regarding this spread? say fear i realize that i am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love gemini's <laughs> i'm gonna say it again okay because this is a big one for you fear i realize that i am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love for those where this is a promising opportunity you're so afraid you're going to be dealing with that same energy you dealt with before. And that's, that is fear. That, that is the epitome of fear. That is fear. Um, that's not having faith. That's not having trust. That's actually coming from ego. Fear is an illusion, guys. And I say this all the time. Fear is an illusion. There's actually nothing to really be afraid of, if you really think about it. There's nothing to be afraid of. Every opportunity, every person you meet is just an opportunity to learn, opportunity to grow. There's nothing to be afraid of. That's a powerful message for this reading. Wow. Let's see what other ones want to come out here. Anything else, Spirit, you want Gemini to be aware of or to know? Oh. Gemini's. 
You got two more here. You got two more. Oh my God, and the bottom is amazing. Oh, Gemini's. Doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. Gemini, let's say this shit again, okay? Fear. <laughs> I realize that I am, I can't actually read this backwards. On my, on my phone when I'm filming, it's mirror. <laughs> I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love and doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. Gemini, you gotta have faith and you gotta have trust that you know your own worth and you know what's best for yourself and that you know you're not gonna fall into this trap again for those in group A. That you're not gonna fall into this trap again. You're not gonna fall into toxicity. You're not gonna fall into very unpredictable, selfish taking energies and that you will come into a very nurturing, abundant, yummy, promising energy for yourself, okay? Then we have perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Gemini's, that powerful Gemini mind. Perseverance, I know, I can't even remember it, that I can do whatever I set my mind to, okay? Very powerful stuff right there. And on the bottom, oh yeah, we've got abundance, another big theme in your reading. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. And, exa and exactly that, Gemini's, you, can, you, need, you are going to manifest what you deserve. And what do you deserve? This. If I could pick this up. Not this. <laughs> right? Not this. You deserve... If I could pick shit up. This. <sighs> Gemini's. All right. Now let's get some advice from the Spirit Animal deck and then we'll call it a day. Any advice from my Gemini's regarding this spread? Any advice for my Gemini's regarding this spread? Come on. Any advice for my Gemini? Any advice for my Gemini's regarding this spread? Any advice for my Gemini's regarding this spread? All right, that feels pretty good. Any advice for my Gemini's regarding this spread? Yeah, well, that's a lot. We're not taking those. Any advice for my Gemini's regarding this spread? 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 Oh, come on, Jimmy Gems, talk to me, talk to me. Thank you. Ooh, spider spirit, make your dreams real. 56 breaking down to an 11. This is a manifestation energy. What did I say? Perseverance, I know, damn it. <laughs> I know that I can do whatever I put my mind to. Look at all that purple. And what's purple? The upper chakras being tapped into your intuition. Okay, Gemini's, you can make this happen. You can make this happen. Whether you have to leave a situation behind and close someone out and just be free, or you're coming into something that's very abundant and very promising and you're kicking someone else to the curb or you're just going towards something promising. You know you deserve it. You can make it happen for yourself, okay? Get rid of this. I can hold this up. Get rid of this fear, doubt, and mistrust. It doesn't serve you in any way, okay? Any other advice from my Geminis regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Gemini's regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Gemini's regarding this spread? Nope. Okay. On the bottom. Oh! We've got Coyote Spirit. Trust in Divine Detours. 16 breaking down to a 7. This has been a curveball for you, Gemini. Like I said, for a lot of you, a promising opportunity has come your way and you're like, wait a minute. This is where I've been? Oh, I don't like where I've been. This ain't so stable. This ain't so fun. This is kind of toxic shit. I kind of want that. You know, a lot of you are in that position, okay? Um, I think this curveball is really just realization. I feel like that's what this is. I feel like this curveball is just realization here, okay? And when the coyote spirit shows up, keep in mind coyote, I, you know, coyote spirit as an animal totem is very interesting. They're the trickster, tricksters, I could talk. They're the tricksters. They know the blueprint. They know the grand design. They know what's supposed to happen. And when people stray or stay too long in a certain situation or place, they throw that curveball to get you back on track, 
to get you where you need to be, okay? To get you back into the blueprint of your life, okay? That's what a coyote is, coyote spirit is supposed to do here. And that's exactly what's happened to a lot of you because a lot of you have seen this opportunity come your way, person, job, whatever, otherwise. And it's like, oh, oh, that's where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> and it's very attractive and it's pulling you in because it's where you're supposed to be, okay? For some of you, like I said, you just want to harness that energy and be free for yourself because there's been some kind of event recently that's made you realize that you've been dealing where did that justice in reverse go oh that you've been dealing with this kind of an energy very unpredictable very self-serving very imbalanced and very much about them and their their needs and a lot of sexual needs at that okay and you're like oh yeah yeah no mm -mm. i want this i want this this is where i'm supposed to be and you know it gemini's okay guys this was an intense read. I know I talked a lot. Go ahead and go back if you need to. A lot of messages for a lot of different Geminis out there. I wish you guys luck. This seems like a really awesome opportunity and you have abundance heading your way if you go with your intuition here and get grounded and get in tune with yourself. Okay? All right, Geminis. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Gemini. Namaste.